Hi friends, today let's see how we can manage deferred expense or prepaid expense in order 15 accounting. So these expenses are costs that have already occurred for unconsumed products or services yet to receive. And these costs are currently asset for the company uh, that pays them since it already paid for the products and services still to receive or yet to be used. So the company cannot report these costs on the profit and loss statement, but this will be effectively expense in the future. So these future expenses must be deferred on the company's balance sheet until the moment in time they can be recognized once or over a period of time on profit and loss statement. For example, uh, if we pay 1,20,000 at once for one year of insurance. So we already pay the cost now, but haven't used the service yet. So we post this expense in the prepayment account and desire to recognize it only monthly basis. So each month for the next 12 months, 10,000 will be recognized as an expense. So in order for pin accounting, this deferred expenses are handled by spreading them in multiple entries uh, that are automatically created in a draft state and then it will be posted periodically. So let's see how this is done in order 15. So first we need some accounts to be configured. So here I have created a prepaid insurance account. You can see it is current asset. So this is our deferred expense account. That is future expenses will be posted on this account. Then we need an expense account. So we have already uh, some expense account uh, created. You can see them here. So periodically the expenses will be posted on this expense account. So you can create a uh, deferred expense entries and that can be viewed from here. Like you can find the menu deferred expenses. So you can create a deferred expense model uh, to create your deferred expense entries faster. So you can have different uh, types of deferred expenses. So you can create a model and use it to create your deferred expense entries. So here I'm creating one model monthly paid insurance. And here you can choose a depreciation method that is number of recognition. So I'm setting it for 12 months. And you can check this box Pro rata temporis. So you can recognize your expense the most accurately possible. So with this feature, the first entry on the expense uh, board is computed based on the time left between the pro rata date and the first recognition date rather than the uh, start date of the fiscal year. Now let's add accounts required for creating entries. The first one is deferred expense account, that is to record the deferred expense, future expense. So you can uh, search for the prepaid insurance that I have just created. You can see that. Then uh, an expense account. So we have already configured my expense account with type expenses. Then we need a journal to post the entry. So you can see, uh, you can find the journal miscellaneous operations. And you can link this with analytic account, analytic tag. Now just save the model. So the for expense model is created. So now we can make use of this model in order to create a new deferred expense entry. Um, so here, when you open expenses and click on create, you can find that model is shown here. So you can directly click on this and you can use the details included in that model. So now let me discard this. I'm not creating it manually. 
let me create a vendor bill and see how we can automatically generate the deferred expense. So to automatically generate the expense entries, uh, we need to first configure the deferred expense account. That is our prepaid insurance. So inside this, you can see a separate tab automation where you can automate the deferred expense. So currently it is set as no. You can also create uh, draft expense entries or you can create and validate the deferred expenses. So when you choose create and validate, uh, then you have to choose a deferred expense model. So after that, save this. Now, to open a product. Here, I have the service product. Insurance one year. And you can edit this. You can see the product type is service. And I have set the cost for this. Then here under accounting, you can set a specific expense account for this product. So when you are trying to choose expense account, you have to provide the deferred expense that is prepaid insurance. Because we need to post the uh, deferred expenses on this account for this service product. Now, if we create a vendor bill, And here you can choose a vendor. Then you can add the product insurance. Now let's confirm the bill. And when you confirm the bill, you can see automatically an entry is created. Uh, that is one deferred expense. So you can see it is running state. And you can also uh, track this by coming under accounting where you can find the deferred expense created that is insurance one year. So uh, you can find the related details like the asset values with original value and acquisition date. And uh, here you can view the current values, including the currency, which uh, it is recognized, then the residual amount recognized, then uh, deferred expense amount, and uh, the number of recognitions. You can see it is 12 month. Then the first recognition date. So you can set this to draft if you want to modify this generated details. Uh, then the accounts related to this uh, deferred expense. You can see them here. Then if we want to add existing depreciation details, like if you already have some existing uh, depreciation details from another software, and if you're importing that uh, from that software, so here you can add the depreciation amount uh, in order to generate a right depreciation report, and then existing depreciations, then the first depreciation date. Then just below that, you can see the expense board. So you can see automatically all journal entries are generated in draft mode and they are posted one by one at the right time until the full amount of expense is recognized. So here for each month, you can see the expense that need to be recognized. Uh, like you can see the expense date. So it starts from uh, December 31st, which is the start date of fiscal year. And you can see the cumulative expense, then the next period expense. So like this way for each expense date, you can see the amount to be recognized. And these are all in draft stage and will be posted periodically on uh, right time.
And if you have any related expense, that also can be added here. And the uh, future expenses can be added. So we have already added uh, related expense. And you can click on add a line to add a new one. And above you can find all the posted entries. So right now we have zero posted entries. And you can see they will be recognized and posted automatically at accounting date. And here you can view these journal items related to that. And if you want to post the uh, entries manually, you can disable this post automatically option. Then we can confirm this deferred expense. Then even if you confirm the deferred expense, you also have an option to modify the expense by providing the right modification reason. So you can change the number of depreciation, depreciable amount, non-depreciable amount. And if you're making any modification, like if you're changing the details, you have to set it to draft and click on compute expense. So the expense board will be updated. Then you can also, then you can also manually create a deferred expense. Uh, like, yeah, let me choose the model monthly paid insurance. You can change the original value and then recognition. You can see the accounts of people here because we have chosen the model monthly paid insurance. According to that, uh, the referred expense, expense accounts are added. Now here, you can save this and click on compute expense. So you can see the expense board is generated. And you can view the uh, expense dates in the total expense need to be recognized. So now we can confirm this deferred expense. So that's how deferred expense entries are generated. Now here we can find the balance sheet where our expenses, that is future expenses, are deferred. So from here, when you unfold this current asset uh, type, you can see our prepaid insurance and the amount posted. You can see it is 1,20,000. So this is our future expense. So here we can find the related bill created uh, for insurance one year. You can also view the journal entry related to that. So after this future expense is recognized, then it will be posted on profit and loss statement. So that's all about uh, managing deferred expenses in order 15 accounting. And if you have any doubts related to this, you can add your comments below. And we have also done a video on deferred revenues in order 15 accounting. So if you want to know more about it, you can go through that video.